Hurricanes and the devastation they can cause are an annual threat to Florida's coastline, which is why the Florida Department of Transportation, FDOT, has implemented emergency shoulder use. Emergency shoulder use involves the use of roadway shoulders as a temporary additional travel lane to add capacity and improve traffic flow during an evacuation. All vehicles may use the shoulder except large trucks, buses, and trailers. Vehicles will drive on the shoulder, which is narrower than typical interstate travel lanes. Travel lanes are usually 12 feet wide, while shoulders are generally only 10 feet wide. When driving on the shoulder, you'll need to slow down and navigate with caution. Motorists must be especially aware of locations where the shoulder narrows and traffic flow is impeded by bridges, signage, barrier walls, guardrails, and overpasses. Drivers using the shoulder will also experience a continuous noise due to the presence of rumble strips. Besides rumble strips and narrow shoulders, you may also encounter shallow concrete gutters and inlets within the shoulder. You will enter and exit the shoulder at designated locations where law enforcement and state officials are directing traffic. Temporary message boards, overhead dynamic message signs, and other signage will provide information through each designated emergency shoulder use area. Florida has established seven major evacuation routes for emergency shoulder use. Alligator Alley, north and southbound from US 27 in Weston near Sunrise to Collier Boulevard in Naples. Interstate 4 eastbound from US 41 in Tampa to World Drive in Celebration near Orlando. State Road 528, the Beachline Expressway westbound from State Road 520 to State Road 417 along I-10 westbound from US 301 in Jacksonville to Capitol Circle, US 319 in Tallahassee, I-75 northbound from Collier Boulevard, State Road 951 in Naples to south of the I-10 interchange in Columbia County, I-95 northbound from south of State Road 706 in Jupiter to State Road 9B near Jacksonville, on Florida's Turnpike northbound from south of Hypoluxo Road in Boynton Beach to Osceola Parkway in Kissimmee, as well as from State Road 50 in Winter Garden to I-75 in Wildwood. Let's look at these evacuation routes in greater detail. Alligator Alley is the only emergency shoulder use route that will accommodate both northbound and southbound traffic from US 27 near Sunrise to Collier Boulevard in Naples. This allows added capacity to evacuate the east or west coast. Emergency shoulder use is designated in the right outside emergency lane. Interstate 4 emergency shoulder use will only go one way, eastbound, from US 41 in Tampa to World Drive near Orlando. There, traffic will use the left inside lanes. On State Road 528 westbound, from State Road 520 to State Route 417, drivers will use the right outside shoulder. Along I-10 westbound from US 301 in Jacksonville to Capitol Circle, US 319 in Tallahassee, emergency shoulder use is designated in the right outside emergency lane. There is a small area where emergency shoulders won't be used at the Interstate 75 interchange. Along I-75 northbound from Collier Boulevard, State Road 951 in Naples, to south of the I-10 interchange in Columbia County, motorists will utilize the left inside shoulder. I-95 northbound from south of State Road 706 in Jupiter to State Road 9B near Jacksonville, motorists will utilize the left inside shoulder for emergency shoulder use. Along Florida's Turnpike northbound from south of Hypoluxo Road in Boynton Beach to Osceola Parkway in Kissimmee, as well as from State Road 50 in Winter Garden to I-75 in Wildwood. Motorists will utilize the right outside shoulder unless emergency shoulder use is authorized. Everyday shoulder use is reserved for disabled vehicles and emergencies only. Drivers must follow the direction of law enforcement personnel and obey signage, as not all areas of the state may experience emergency shoulder operation at the same time. We are prepared. Are you?